D'Amelio is accused of stealing a dance trend again, and is this the end of the hype house? We'll tell you what's going on and why some people think Bryce Hall was flirting with Lana Rhodes. I'm Kelsey Venus, and you're watching The Daily Report. TikTok tea coming at ya. What else is there to talk about, honestly? <laughs> First things first, people are mad at Charlie D'Amelio again. A sentence that always surprises us when we have to say it, but some people are accusing Charlie of stealing a dance trend. This would not be the first time it's happened, but it's certainly the most recent. A comedian named Cameron Henderson called Charlie out on Instagram for stealing a dance style that he's been doing for years. He wrote, quote, I just want to be very clear this is my style. Before she continues with this and people start saying I'm copying her. He went on to say that while he did not invent green screen and he's all for new trends, he does keep reinventing himself only for someone else to quote, bite my style. He added quote, many of y'all's faves have done this to me. Shaking my head, I'm not speaking on this again and it's not hate, I just want y'all to be aware. I understand recreating jokes or dances, but a whole style? Charlie has yet to respond, but hopefully if she was inspired by Cameron's style, she would give credit, right? Not giving credit is definitely problematic. And speaking of problematic, a controversial TikToker Bryce Hall appears to be trying to turn his life and his finances around. Two things I never thought I'd say in a sentence about Bryce Hall. <laughs> Bryce announced that he is launching a financial podcast with Anthony Papliano called Capital University. This idea came after Bryce went completely broke and got hit with a huge tax bill, which opened his eyes to the importance of proper money management. Kyle, what do you think about that? Are you gonna listen? Isn't he just trying to follow what Logan Paul did? Kyle with the T! Who knew? Oh, apparently Kyle. <laughs> Bryce told People, quote, I always thought money was an object. I was spending money before I even had it. On the show, the two will discuss the basics of investing and talk about how to ensure future financial security. Bryce said that the biggest lesson he's learned so far, quote, save your money. It can go, don't spend it all. But when Bryce isn't talking about money with an investor, he's out to dinner with Tessa Brooks. <laughs> Again! <laughs> don't you love my segues today? It's great. If you don't recall, a couple of weeks ago, the two were seen at dinner. Bryce with his arm around Tessa as she got in real close to talk to him. It truly looked like they were about to kiss, so naturally everyone assumed they are dating. But Bryce decided to set the record straight by having him and Tessa react to that video and break it down. It turns out they don't even remember what they were talking about, and according to Bryce, they're just quote unquote bros. Well, these bros were seen out to dinner again a couple of nights ago, laughing, having a good time, and starting a food fight with Nick Bean. But it seems that Bryce may have more than one bro because the next night while out to dinner, he kept flirting with Lana Rhodes. They weren't at dinner together, just at the same restaurant, but Bryce made sure to get some FaceTime with her before and after their dinner, giving her a hug, touching her hair, and kneeling down so that he could talk to her face to face. However, she does have a boyfriend, so uh, it may have been, you know, one-sided when it comes to the flirting, and Bryce may have to look for some more available bros. But as Bryce and the Sway House boys continue to thrive, it seems another TikTok collective that started around the same time is starting to fall apart. Many members are now moving out of the hype house, and which has left fans wondering, is this it for the collective? I mean, Taylor Holder announced that he was moving out of the house via Twitter yesterday, writing a simple quote, I'm moving out with a sad face. I don't know how more clear it can get. Olivia Ponton, who joined the house in June, announced in an interview that she is also moving out and mentioned that a few other creators will be moving with her to another house. Olivia said, quote, just because it's very, just everything happening here at once, which is awesome, she went on to say how nice it is to be around people with a totally motivated mindset and said that everyone in the house has been very nice and welcoming. So does that mean that being in the hype house is just like a lot to deal with? <laughs> But don't worry, it's not the end of the hype house, but rather the beginning of the hype houses. Nate Wyatt told the Hollywood Fix paparazzi, quote, future of the hype house? We're all still together. We're all still together making content. We're a family that'll never change. And it's Vinan. When asked if it was true if Alex and Cover were moving out, Nate said, quote, so we might be going to different houses, but we're still gonna be under the hype house umbrella. The hype house lives on just in separate houses. Maybe that's why Team 10 didn't last as long. They didn't break up into smaller houses. And now the shout out of the day goes to Ava Grace. Thank you for watching and I do have to agree that hashtag Nixie does sound better than hashtag Doa. 
And now we want to know what you think. Are you going to be listening to Bryce Hall's new podcast? I know Kyle isn't. <laughs> Jokes! Let us know down in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel, and make sure to check us out at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. I'm Kelsey Banis, and I think I just shaded Bryce Hall for you. You're welcome. <laughs>